Hi everyone, welcome back. Here's the look we're creating today. It's a soft, flirty look inspired by a face chat I found on Instagram. It's really soft and I think it's perfect for this season of love. So let's get started with my face. First off, I applied some moisturizer. This one is Claire Proof Moisturizer from Mary Kay. It's for acne prone skin and I'm currently loving it. For the foundation, we switched things up a bit. So rather than use my usual, I'm using Maybelline Dream Matte Mousse and I'm applying it with a damp beauty blender. Damp beauty blenders for me are the best way to apply this foundation. It can be really tricky otherwise. Um, this I think is the best way to get the coverage um, this foundation offers without being too heavy. It's pretty full coverage I would say. It's medium to full but I get a pretty full coverage from it. To highlight my face, I'm now um, dabbing on some HD Face Creator from BM Pro and I'm just applying that in the center of my face, under my eyes, my forehead, down my nose and my chin as well. I'm applying it and already blending as I go and then I'll go in again with the other side of the Beauty Blender just to blend things out. To contour my face, I'm applying AJ Crimson um, Cream Foundation. You already know how I feel about this one. First applied with a synthetic brush and then I'm going to go back in with the Beauty Blender to blend everything out. Pat, 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 pat until there are no more lines and everything is just smooth and blended. <laughs> When everything is blended, we begin to set first off my highlights and I'm setting my highlight with RCMA No Color Powder. I like to press my powders in because these um, pressing in lets me stay dry and matte for longer. And we can start with the eyes, which is where all the drama is happening. First off the brows, I filled in my brows with Younger Beauty Brow Lucian. I'm going to use Brow Lucian on the body of the brow. And just soft strokes. Um, this pencil I think is perfect if you're trying to create a natural looking brow. If you want a bolder brow, it, you might not love it. I switched to a felted pen in dark brown to fill out the tail because I'm creating an ombre brow effect here. Brush through to blend it in. Then I cleaned it up with the same BM Pro um, HD Face Creator. Blended that in and we can jump right in with eyeshadows. First eyeshadow is Glisten from Anastasia Beverly Hills. And with a, fat, a flat natural fiber brush, I'm applying this all over my eyelid. Then with a MAC 217 brush, I'm going to blend out the edges of um, Glisten before we go in with Hot Chocolate from Anastasia Beverly Hills which is going to be my crease color. I'm applying this very loosely in my crease and kind of blending it into the edges of Glisten. This doesn't have to be neat or sharp or anything, it just needs to be really nicely blended. The details, the neatness, all that comes in with the eyeliner which is what I'm going to be doing next. So for the liner, I'm using gel eyeliner from Higa and Esta in Onyx and a really small detailed angled brush from Delium Tools. This one is from the Purple Bamboo Collection and I'm gradually building the wing just like I want it. This um, liner goes all the way into my inner corner. So gradually I built it till I got what I wanted. I highlighted my brow bone with Hourglass Highlighter in, um, from the Ambient Palette. Then some blonde pencil in my waterline. I always prefer to use a beige or a blonde, not a white. White is a bit too bold and fake looking. So all the way in my waterline to create an open eye effect. Then I lined my lower lash line with the same hot chocolate um, eyeshadow and then applied some mascara to my lower lash line. My lashes are 747L and S from Amazing Shine and I'm applying them with black lash glue. If you make a mistake like this, <laughs> just um, use your finger to blend the eyeshadow out. You can also go in with more eyeshadow if you really need to cover it up. This is the risk of using black lash glue, okay? But I applied the lashes with a pair of tweezers. Then some mascara to push my lashes into the falsies, as per usual. I actually really like this lash combo. I've never done it before. Then on my lower lash line, I'm going to apply some singles. Again, I have never tried this before on myself, so I only did a few. 
You have to be careful though to get it, you know, to look nice. And that's it for the eyes. On to the lips. And like you see, the lips are just very soft, pinky and flirty. I started off with Flash It Pout from Sleek Studio in Bark. Yes, it lights up. You can use it in the dark. And I'm going to use this as a liner. So I lined my lips with Bark. Then I'm going to smack my lips together to kind of blend it in towards the center of the lip. And then I will fill the lips in with lip gloss from Maybelline. It's the Color Elixir um, collection and this one is in Nude Illusion. Smack, smack and that's really it for the lips. My blush is from Kiliema. And we're done with the look. That's it guys, that's everything. Like you can see, it's really all about the details on the eyes. It's soft, it's flirty, it's gorgeous. I love this look. I totally need to wear my liner like this more often. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please rate, comment, and definitely subscribe. Catch you guys next week.